Hello and welcome back everyone to another episode of Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 as the German Empire. Last episode, we kind of just moved up more into the Soviet Union. We didn't really achieve like any major feats. We did start moving more of our air force in to start assisting up here in Belarus, which is good. We do want that to happen. Or like, we didn't really have any... Well, we did have like the Soviets shifting around for some reason. And we managed to make... You know, we managed to make some decent progress, I guess. But really, we're still pretty far away from Moscow. Now, let's just do a quick evaluation of how the war effort's going. Thinking of whether or not I want to go back and do this. Yeah, you know, we're actually going to go to desperate defense. Because I think I know changed my mind I think that extra 5% is going to be more important than I thought it was before holy crap what just happened the Soviets are moving around again those wait why are the Soviets All right hearts of iron 4 the only thing I can think of is that whenever the game reloads it like recalculates the supply and that's what's happening that's the only thing that I can think of that's that could be causing this. And the AI is going, oh shit, we don't have any supply. We should do something about that. And then when it tries to, it's just like, oh shit, we still don't have any supply. I mean, I just don't know what it could be. Well, at least maybe we'll get some advances that we wouldn't have gotten before. I mean, if what I'm thinking is happening is true, then I guess I could cheese it and just constantly restart the game over again. But I'm not doing that. That's that's weenus mode. And besides, it'd be boring as shit to do that. Oh, so yesterday, actually, I got in the mail Codex Space Wolves, the um, the Tooth and Claw box game for Warhammer 40,000, and the new Kill Team book, which I'm actually really excited. I don't really have anyone to play with up here, but I do want to start looking at it, so I will be able to get to play with, get to play games with it eventually. This man, I loved Kill Team in 7th edition. I tried to get in the Shadow War Armageddon, and I just didn't like it as much. It was too much for me. Yeah, just... Kill Team was really simple. It was with the factions I love and know. Shadow Worm again was the same way, but it just felt a little too complicated for me. Now, obviously, if you're looking for a game like Necromunda, which I may get into Necromunda eventually, I mean, I guess, like, there's no complaints there, obviously, because then you're getting into it. But Shadow War Armageddon was just a bit too much for me. I Actually, how should I say this? I wanted to play small skirmish games of 40k with only a bit more comp like complex stuff added to it. I didn't want I didn't want Necromunda is the best way I could say. Come on. Oh, and Spider-Man 3 is on Netflix. I was watching that and preparing the Watch Venom when it comes out, and I really, really want to see that movie. I believe it comes out really early in October. Like, before the 10th. God damn it, Soviets, just stop. Please. You're in the center. There we go. Just let me take the province. Stop moving men into the province. Panzer Kampfwagen. There we go, get Panzer Fours. I wish there was a way I could... Alright, we'll definitely switch you around to the new class. I wish there was a way I could say it like, when you're done, start making this new class of, of ships. What are you? Close air support?
That'll actually probably help him finally crack it. And look at that, it was. Because air support is a valuable thing, thing, kids. You know, as long as we're denying the Soviets air support, it's fine if we don't necessarily have it, as long as we're denying them. Keep pushing. Especially because we're going to get a little tiny baby encirclement if we get this province right here. At least I think so. We should. No, we don't actually. There is a little connection. Slow but steady. Slow but steady. And Kiev is right there. I doubt we'll be able to... Yeah, we're not going to be able to take it. I think that tanks are going to have to be... Oh yeah, it's annexing them, but... Wait, really? I can declare war on them now? I mean, I'm not going to do it. Wait, I have a non-aggression pact. Why is he going to let me declare war on them? That's interesting. Don't know why. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Please tell me that France... Okay, Italy has to be an offensive war. I was worried there for a second. I was like, are they going to declare war on Italy? Because that would be very, very bad. State. Alright, this is in a different state. Well, different Arizona, actually. Actually, that may not be a bad idea. Let's try and work with our Arizones that we have. I actually like that idea. So you know what, instead, I'm going to focus you guys right here. So now you guys are going to get air support in this battle. What are you trying to give me? You know, you know what I could be doing? We're going to lower naval bomber production even more. We'll keep you like that. You're going to start producing, not support, uh, motorized. We don't need much because we're not making any. Uh, Battleship 3... We don't have enough chromium, but that's okay. Yeah, 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 I don't really care. Hungary and Romania don't even exist anymore. Actually, is there anything down like it here I can do? Oh. Hope I didn't like screw myself the fact that I'm not at peace with them. Yeah, they don't even exist. Yeah, we'll do Reich's Autobahn. We'll get those extra military factories. They'll be useful. Sure, Mauser. Actually, that probably is the best one we could pick. Any of them looking kind of weak here? Of course not. The thing we really lack is just a force that's able to bust through. Alright, I want you guys there because we can probably bust through them. I mean, it's just a mountaineer in two divisions. If there's anywhere we can push forward, it's there. Keep them locked down. I don't want them sending reinforcements. Are you serious? You can't break that? Entrenchment? Entrenchment. Also, the fact that whenever they move, they're breaking their entrenchment makes it a lot easier for us when we're attacking. don't even we don't even need you there come on up top go ahead and assist if we get them to assist we'll probably basically if we can keep cycling troops through
Yes. Come on, come on. Go. Come on, let's go. Damn Soviets, they just keep sending more men in. What happens if I attack there? No, yeah, we're not breaking that. Maybe here? How about right here? We can actually get a fair amount of divisions to attack right here. I mean, it's not even the tanks, it's just how many Soviet divisions there are. We're kind of in a World War I kind of scenario here. The Soviets just can't break through my lines and I can't really break through theirs. I don't want to give them military access. I think we need to break right there. It's not happening. Honestly, we may just have to wait. I don't know if there's anything we can do. Really, I guess until we get tanks, there's nothing we can do to break the Soviet lines. There just isn't anything. Actually, they're looking like they, we could break right here. Oh, we're actually going to send literally everything. Hold on. We may actually have... We may have something going for us here. I highly doubt the Soviet tank divisions are good enough to deal with our infantry. I'm going to upgrade him to 10. I don't know. I know anti-air is actually not a bad thing to get. No, you're not. We're over. Yeah, formation fighting. I don't really care about how efficient, like, how many aces we're going to get because, well, the aces are useful. Having them just be flat out better at fighting, like, normally, is much better. Panzer Kampfwagen 4. And snip. Yeah, we can actually start production. We don't need this many. Start production of Panzer. Uh, that many. Actually, yeah, we'll just do that. That'll give us 15. So it's actually pretty good. So we're at. Yeah, I like that more. Because we're going to need more regular tanks and self propelled guns. All right, our men, some of them anyway, have made it over, have moved into that new province. Oh, we don't have tungsten. And we 
basically don't even have enough convoys for anything. Yeah, we're all, where is all of our convoys? I guess I just wasn't building them. Come on, I know we can, I know we can do it. My God, how many of them are there? I'm sure this is what the actual Germans were feeling when they invaded the Soviet Union. They were just like, my God, how many are there, Hans? And Hans did not answer, for he was murdered. In his, actually, he, was, he froze to death because of his lack of winter gear. German war economy. Or, yeah, we're working on the Hummel. The about a month. The United Kingdom declared war on Norway. Fantastic. A democratic nation is set, declared war on. Oh, come on. Oh. Yeah, go there. Where the hell are even our Romania's troops? And how did the Soviets get a division there so quickly? I don't like that the game's lagging like this. It actually is frozen, it's not your video. Right, as far as I know, nothing happened. Oh, not today, buddy. Thank you. Slow and goddamn. No, this isn't even steady, it's just slow. Now, let's see how the war is going on in the rest of the world. So, Manichikuo is at the same time winning against the Soviets and losing against the Chinese. Japan's kind of not really doing anything just because they don't have enough forces. Actually, it looks like all their divisions were destroyed at one point. And not because of the Civil War, it looks like because of another reason. How many factories does China have? Oh, 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 I didn't even think about the fact that since communist China starts in service by requirement that they have between 50 and 60 million men in their manpower reserves. Well, let's try again. I'm feeling a bit better this time. Yeah, not, not not why it's winter. We don't even have we, we have a pretty bad supply situation down there anyway. All right, looks like our convoy issue is starting to get fixed. Is it, are they getting sunk? They shouldn't. Who's fighting? Yeah, there we go. Norway. We're going to do propaganda against the goddamn Norwegians. We've always been at war with northwestern Scandinavia. 
Here, let's get more tungsten. Luckily, though, we have a quadrillion civilian factory, so it doesn't actually matter that we're using up all of these imported resources. Yeah, we don't have enough convoys for everything. Wait, hold on. Are the Soviets doing one of those shuffling things again? If so, attack. Oh, we actually took it. That is very good. Very good, yeah. Ooh, actually, almost all of them could reach up there. I'm actually going to throw you guys all here. And then send the bombers up to the northern front. You guys there. Oh, crap. That's a lot of planes. And we do not need any more tanks research, at least not for now. Might as well do some of this research. And you know what guys, I think this is going to be a good spot to end it here. So our little grinding war against the Soviet Union is still going. I was about to say done, but we're not even close. Well, I mean, we are chipping away at the Soviet manpower, but at what costs? Because, I mean, I think we're getting a positive, like, kill-death ratio. But it's still a long slog. And actually, if the Allies start making more advancements here, it might actually pull some of the Soviet forces away. But if the Allies get completely kicked out of um, Asia, it may mean that we have to fight the entirety of the, um, the Red Army. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, which I hope you did, remember to like. Leave a comment down below. I always like what you guys have to say. And hey, subscribe if you want to see more content. I will catch you all later. Peace.